Hello, my name is Julian Purdy, and today I'll be investigating the difference in audio quality for the purpose of a video audition recording between a dynamic microphone, in this case the Shure SM58 microphone, and a condensed microphone, in this case the Behringer B5. I'll also be trialling these at different distances uh, between myself and the microphone, and also at different pitches within my own range to determine which is optimal. La, la, la. now investigate the difference in sound quality between the use of a single Behringer B5 microphone and two Behringer B5 microphones in a stereo setup. La, la.
louder with the dynamic microphone however this is something that can be altered by turning up the gain on the audio interface while admittedly my own production is uh, subject to variability um, in my upper register the Shaw SM58 produces a whiter sound while the, the Behringer B5 conveys more resonance this is clearly evident in the ARIA trial wherein the recordings put side by side I will now try to determine whether a single condenser microphone or a stereo pair is preferable. La, la. Oh. 
As you might expect, the stereo pair is louder than the single, but aside from this, the sound quality doesn't appear to change too dramatically. However, the advantage of a stereo pair is that it gives sound perspective and provides a sense of depth to the sound, which will be more apparent if I perform with a live pianist. So, in conclusion, a distance of three meters between the singer and the microphone is ideal in a medium to large sized rehearsal room and condensed microphones ideally in a stereo pair are preferable to dynamic microphones for conveying resonance and richness of tone for the purpose of recording an audition tape.